Hey y'all, welcome back to By Devin. A big hello to you, all of my subscribers, and I'm so glad you're here if you are new. If you love what you see, like, comment, and subscribe for more. Today I'm working on my collab nails for the Liquid Layers Grand Opening. Their grand opening is today, January 12th, so definitely head over to Liquid Layers. I'll put the link down in the comments, and you can save 25% off all of their amazing products. They are a 3D printing company, and I am so excited that they are back open under new ownership. Um, but they have all of the same and some new great products and their colors that their products come in are just so gorgeous. So I'm using the single finger rest here. You might have noticed I'm in like, whoa, Devin, doing your natural nails? Yes, I am. I just really wanted to show off all of the liquid layer products that I had um, that I do use when I'm doing my natural nails. And I use many of them when I'm doing my press-ons. Also, you've probably seen them in other videos. And I got a few of them several, several months ago from my friend Karen at KMG Dips. And then I purchased a few more before the grand opening. And I just love using these products. So I've got that single finger rest. Then I've got the brush rest that I use kind of as a swatch stand. I love to use it when I'm swatching. I love to use it. Um, kind of in these videos to keep my colors so I can kind of remember what they all look like. And then what I'm about to dip into here is the French manicure French dip tray. And I have really loved using this. I think it's the perfect size, but you all, I'm super excited. I saw um, Erica Nails It's um, live the other day and she was using this flexible boat and they release those for the grand opening. I don't know if that was always the plan. Um, sometimes I'm a space cadet when it comes to like actually listening and reading. So maybe it was always the plan. For some reason, I was thinking they were releasing in like a month or so. So when I saw them on the website today, you knew I had to grab some. So I definitely grabbed one of those. They only come in clear right now, but they do come in two sizes, which I was also super excited about because most of my dips are sample size. So having a slightly smaller one, I think will be perfect. So I grabbed one of those. And I also, you can see it back there in um, green. I think it might be Jade, but I did get that, um, like I said, for my friend before the ownership chain. So I think it might be a slightly different color than the Jade that they have on the website now. All of my other tools are in rose gold and I am obsessed. You know, I grabbed more in the rose gold. So let's talk about this Manny, y'all. So I've got three gorgeous colors here. I was gifted these by Liquid Layers and they come from Daisy Dip Co. I had never used her dips before and I am so excited. These were so amazing. And the owner from Liquid Layers designed these dips and they are gorgeous. So it was Northern Lights, which is kind of the mid-size glitter. And then right now, this gorgeous dark purple that I'm using is Arctic Shimmer. I'm like 90% sure that this will chrome. And I almost thought about chroming it in this mani, but then decided I didn't want to do too much because I'm adding these gorgeous nails in a coffin, um, liquid layer, grand opening um, decals. So I didn't want to kind of take away from them, but I have seen several of the other people who are um, doing this collab did chrome it. Um, so... I guess I should have said I know 100% it will chrome because I definitely see people chrome it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is this dark, um, this dark color, Arctic Shimmer. And then the um, smaller, like micro glitter is called Minnesota Bound. And that's what I'm going to use now. And I'm going to try to do this like color blocking you saw I started it earlier when I was yapping on about how much I loved all of these 3d products from um, liquid layers so I used my my masking tape nail tape to create this v shape and I did kind of measure it along with these decals my hope when I was doing this is that I could put the decal of that really cool gem inside that space so that's why I dipped it into the 
the white for the top, it's Cosmics um, Vanilla Bean Cream, which has a slightly, like it pulls just slightly gray. Um, so it's not a pure crisp white, but I think with these other darker colors, it will look really good. I'm also going to do some reverse painting on these decals so I can put them on this super dark Arctic shimmer. I just love how Minnesota Bound looks. It is so pretty. It's definitely one of those shimmers where when you dust it off, you're like, oh, there's the gorgeousness. And then this third dip of the trio is Northern Lights. And you can get this trio at Daisy Dip Snail Co. Um, online. So if you're loving it as much as I am, and then I'm sure you're going to see a whole bunch more of us who are using it um, today and throughout the weekend, you can grab it for yourself. And I can't wait to see what you do with it. So this Northern Lights is chunky, um, but not super chunky. It's kind of like that mid-size glitter. And I've seen a couple of the different people who did this nail collab. Some of them kind of sprinkled it on so it was a little bit more sparse. I'm going to do full coverage here. So I did two dips and then I'm going to do some hand placing. So I grabbed out my No Mess Dip Tray from Oil Oasis, poured just a little bit in there, and I'm going to use this wax tip brush to add just a little accent onto my pointer. I really loved how this turned out the dark chunkiest glitters from northern lights were the exact color of arctic shimmer but because they have just a slight color shift to them as i moved my finger you could see them and then sometimes i felt like you couldn't see them which i thought was super fun and then i'm just going to add a few hand placed um of these same chunkies from Northern Lights to my ring finger, kind of just along, um, especially around the cuticle and um, my free edge where they didn't, they like half stuck because the, the glitter like was off my nail. So I pulled it off because I didn't want it to be on my cuticle line. So I'm just gonna go in and fill in these tiny little gaps around the edge and then dip it back in there. So it was really just three layers. Oh, so pretty. It is a dip that you're going to want to kind of press down to keep it a little bit smoother. And now I'm going to go in and do this next layer here in clear. So I did um, encapsulate all of these with clear. I'm using my Lucid from I Dipped That. Unfortunately, they have since closed and it was such a great clear. Um, I also love my clear from Thunderbird Lane. I actually need to buy some more. So writing that down on my list of things to do. Oh, love it. So I'm just brushing off all of that kind of excess. And then I'm going to go in with my fancy um, stiff brush and get off all of that excess clear. The finger rust makes this so much easier than when I was like just laying my hand um, on my mat. If you haven't gotten one, I kind of remember seeing people using them thinking, oh, why do I need this? I'm not gonna lie y'all, it really makes it a lot easier, kind of gets that finger out of the way. Um, when you do your thumb, it like just gives you something to kind of hold on to. I feel like my hand got less tired during this mani because I had it. Um, so it's definitely a nice tool to have. And then just doing a little bit of buffing, kind of shaping up around my cuticle and my sidewalls. Um, I do have on peel base, so, um, but I don't want these to pop off tomorrow, right? Um, so even though I did put on peel base, I want them to last and come off when I want them to. This is also the IDT peel base and it works so well, but like I said, it closed. But Liquid Layers is open, so we lost one amazing company, but we've gained another. This is the Liquid Layers decal dish, and I'm going to be using it to put on these gorgeous um, decals that come from Nails in a Coffin. And I believe you can get these decals if you order um, during their grand opening from Liquid Layers. So look at these gems. Uh, yes, please. So I'm using a little bit of Maniology. Um, Sticky base coat. There we go. <laughs> Maniology sticky base coat. I really like it. It's nice and sticky and it works super well. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of striping tape here to kind of cover in that kind of natural gap that I had when I did my color blocking. 
Oh, so gorgeous. It's about the same color as the some of the colors in this nail decal, so it just very cohesively goes together, I feel. And I'm gonna make that line just a little bit thicker by adding another row. And then I'm gonna cover it in Maniology sticky base coat because I don't wanna use gel, but when I use my activator, it can make the colors run on the line tape. So I'm kind of experimenting to see if that extra layer of sticky base will help it maintain the color. It does, but not perfectly. So still looking for what I wanna do there probably buying more expensive lining tape instead of just like the Timu um, variety pack is probably my option. So you see here, I reversed painted this liquid layer decal. So it has the LL like the liquid layer um, symbol you can see on all of their products. While I'm waiting for that to dry and you do want to wait for it to dry because if not, the colors will bleed out. I'm doing my top coat on all of these gorgeous nails so beautiful and I'm capping my free edge so I don't get any chips there so beautiful love it I really like these deep dark colors they are just gorgeous so I'm going to put this liquid layers decal straight onto um, a layer face coat and y'all I missed the center I don't even know. I had a clear jelly stamper. I tried and I kind of failed, but I am gonna use this little micro swab. You can pick up some from Nails in a Coffin and you can clean it up just a little bit if your white paint or whatever you're using for your reverse stamping is out of the edges. And here is our finished result. I'm loving these three colors together. Go check out Liquid Layers and I'll see you on the next one. Bye y'all.